all new Dr. Phil. Their marriage is in trouble. I want her to confess right now of who you've been with. I wasn't with anyone, Michael. And dads involving their child. My son knows just about everything. In all their private problems. I know your freaking life! I'm very troubled by hearing this child scream at his mother. Things get so intense. She's manipulating the whole situation as she's turning this on me. I've tried to be your strength all your life, and you have done nothing but bash me. Dr. Phil stops the show. Robin, would you please come up and get Cindy? For a dramatic one-on-one. -on -one. Let's do it. Have a good show, everybody. I hate to see people suffering, and you've hurt long enough. Stand by, Dr. Phil. Go second. Take it. We're going to get you the help that you need. Three, five, four. This is going to be a changing day in your life. Go, Dr. Phil. It was a lot more than sex, lies, and videotapes yesterday when we met one of the most animated and intense husbands I have ever dealt with. There was spying, suspicions, polygraph tests, paternity tests, fake suicide attempts, and a road trip halfway across the United States to lay some evidence at my feet. Let me catch you up on what's happened so far. I know your freaking life! Leave! Leave! Imagine being ganged up on like this by your husband and your 12-year-old son. Her husband, Mike, constantly accuses her of lying and cheating. I'm not stupid. I know what's going on. I told my husband a white lie. Once I found out she lied to me, I knew I couldn't trust her. Have you cheated on him since y'all got married? No. Why did you lie to my family her. all these years? About what? About everything. People lie, particularly white lies, sometimes to escape all of the hell that you're raining down on her. I'm not lying. I never cheated on you. Mike hired a detective to give me a polygraph test. I took the test and I passed it. How many men have you caught her with? Oh, I haven't caught her with any men. None. Oh. Do you spy on her from the woods? From my garage. What'd you see through the window? Her trying to find if the house was bugged still and pulling out furniture and stuff. <laughs> Tear that son bitch down to the studs if I were you. The doctor said I had chlamydia. When I went to the doctor, my results were clean. I know Cindy gave it to me. So you went to the doctor, you were never diagnosed with chlamydia. Not by paperwork. <laughs> I took this doctor's word. You gave us the note. Why would you give me a bogus note? He told me I had it 100%. I agreed to do this story for one reason, because y'all have a child that I think is really caught in the middle of some real chaos here. Mike is fake attempted suicide twice. The first time, he held a rifle in his mouth. The second time, Mike grabbed a bottle of pills and pretended to take the whole bottle in front of our son. What the hell were you thinking? Wow. And you did it to test whether sure. she cared about you? Yes, sir. What'd you learn? She didn't. Oh, my God. Do you think you're alienating your son from his mother? I don't keep my son from his mother. That's his choice. No, I have he doesn't his want her kid back. Ever. He has told his kids so many things. That he I have told know my kids. Fingers. Let's go back to the lie about the party. <laughs> Cindy. Like a ten Why? Why? Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Why would you drag out that little, little lie about a party? For three weeks, and I go to jail because I give up my own marijuana because I. That one week. That one week of taping you told me my whole life story. Mike sent us some audio recordings of conversations he's had with his son. He got it too, buddy. What, what? The doctor's excuse, Daddy, got to prove that I got treated for a disease. Oh, the best move I ever made, buddy. Are you telling me you're not coming home saying, we got her now, buddy? I, oh, oh, Daddy did it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yes, he wanted to know. Your conduct with your son is nothing short of abusive. <laughs> Did you tell your son, I don't know if I'm really your biological father? He overheard it. Did, did you feel that that was appropriate? Oh, no. No, that hurt me. I broke down. I, that, that killed me that I would have to put that kid through this over something like this. Have you like showed this. your son video of you guys arguing? 
No, not that I'm aware of. He, he, has, he may have seen it going on the computer or anything. But I didn't just well, bring I, up a I video. I can't help the situation. No, I can't remember just it. sitting down and showing him a video of what was going on. He saw all his videotaping around the house. Well, he stars in a lot of them. You have told him that you, you trick his mother, right? Yes. Do you tell your son about money problems? He hears it. it don't have to just go directly to him. He <clears> hears it. Did he grow up believing that his dad would kill his mother? Yes, he did. How did you get that idea? I heard saying these accusations <clears throat> in front of him on the phone all these years I was out working. I was on the phone with someone, and I was telling him, yeah, if I did that, Mike would kill me. He overheard me But what do you think that? a kid takes Mike. out of that when he's a little kid and he hears it all his life to this age, Cindy? What do you think speech. a kid will take from that? Down and say my, your you have no idea. Me. And this is all turning on me. You have no idea. You have no idea. <laughs> um, what do you mean this is all turning on you? This, this is the manip manipulation I've lived with all my life and blame myself. Yeah. How, do you, how do you think this interview is going? Not good right now. What Not would you, good. What would you say is wrong with this interview? The, what's wrong with this interview is I'm angry, and it's what I showed the last two years. Mm -hmm. Do you think that she and I are conspiring against you? No, sir. You? No, I don't believe that. That's why I came to you. I want to hear it from your face. Yeah. Well, I got plenty to say. So how does their son Stephen feel about all this? Has Mike completely alienated Cindy away from her child? Uh, I would actually like to speak to this young man. Uh, he's here. He's in the green room. Uh, he hasn't been hearing any of this, of course, because unlike his father, I don't think you involve children in adult issues. So I've had him sitting back there, but I'm very, very troubled by hearing this child scream at his mother. And um, so I would like to go back and chat with him for a minute. Do I have your permission to do so? Do yes, I have sir. your permission yes, to sir. do so? Okay. Uh, Bones, let's remove Cindy. You can just take her right back there because I just don't want Mike yelling at her while I'm gone. Um, I'm going to go back and chat with him and we'll be able to see that is we're going to swing this plasma around so you can see this, and all of you in the audience are going to have the opportunity to see it as well. I just didn't want to bring him out here because I don't think you do that with children, uh, certainly in, in this situation. I'm going to go back and chat with him, and then after that, I'm going to come back out and uh, tell you what I think needs to happen in this situation, right. okay? So I'll head back. Mike has brainwashed my son, and there's nothing I can do about it. Mom, I caught you manipulating me a couple times lately, and I've been getting pissed about it. Our son doesn't buy Cindy's lies. He's caught on just like I have. Monday on an all-new Dr. Phil. They say that you're involved in threesomes with your boyfriend. They say that they have seen you covered with hickeys. They whip each other, spank each other. Is this a fetish group? They claim their sister has a secret sex life. You're posting pictures of your body beaten and bruised. And she needs an intervention. I truly despise the person that Kim is today. They say that there are orgies at group meetings. Absolutely not. My niece has told me that she hears whipping sounds coming from the bedroom. My daughter is not exposed to this. I hate whips. But paddles? You're okay with paddles but not whips? Yes. When I hear my niece telling me stuff. What is the most disturbing thing she's told you? That's Monday. Mike and Cindy admit to putting their 12-year-old son right in the middle of their fights. Right now, their son is living with Mike and refuses to talk to Cindy. Take a look. Our 12-year-old son is caught in the middle of all of our marital problems. See what you pushing on me, Push that down. See what she's putting this kid through? Mike has brainwashed my son, and there's nothing I can do about it. You're telling me my on you, Michael. It's not I got true. a disease. There ain't no other way. My son knows about the cheating, the STD, the gambling, the money situation. He knows just about everything. I have been so honest with my son because I believe my son should know. 
Our son doesn't buy Cindy's lies. He's caught on just like I am. Ah, I caught you manipulating me a couple times lately, and I've been getting pissed about it. I put that I'm, yeah, because you don't want to show your true self because you're no. scared. My mom was a manipulative liar. I trusted her when I was younger. But as I got older, I started catching on to her. My mom needs to confess to all she's done. Mike's had our 12-year-old son spy on me. He has asked our son to follow me around. He's also asked him to see who I'm talking to on the phone. My son's called me a bitch, a liar, manipulator, all the things that my husband's called me. I'm totally devastated with my relationship with my son right now. I haven't spoken to him in over five weeks. I don't want my mom in my life. My mom texts me, love you, hope I get to talk to you soon. But I don't reply. That makes me mad because I don't want to talk to her. I don't want my son to know that I love him and miss him so much. And this mom didn't do these things. I just want him to trust and believe me too. Well, I'm glad to uh, get to meet you. I've been out uh, in another room talking to your folks, but we're talking about... Um, adult things out there, so uh, I didn't think it was appropriate to have you there, being as you're 12, right? Yeah. So you're right now living with your dad, right? Yeah. How's that working for you? It's working perfectly working okay? fine. Getting along all right? Yeah. How's your relationship with your mom? Um, me and my mom used to be really close, but mm -hmm. now I'm really mad at her. Mm -hmm. What about? Um, she left over money. She left over money? Yeah. Uh -huh. She um, said that she was going to take out her pension money to help us, and then she left. You know a lot about this. Yeah, I've been filled in on everything, yeah. practically. Yeah, who fills you in? Um, my dad, because I've been drug into it from the beginning. Mm -hmm. but How did it start? It started over my mom lying about a party. Up until... A couple of years ago, you and your mom were very close, right? You said yeah, you got along really well. Yeah, me and my mom were really very well. close. You, you, you loved her a lot and all. Do you love yeah. her now? Um, I just lost a lot of respect for her. You've gotten really upset with your mom and kind of yelled at her and all, right? Yeah, I have gotten mad at my yeah. mom. And Take a look at this piece of tape. It's, you're in it. Sorry! With that camera no, that you agreed to this. You told me and him you would sign these what papers. What paper? You, what do you, you think you said it. it out? You said it. And I'm sorry Quit. to get a headache from yelling at you. Okay, so leave. What, what do you think about that as you see yourself doing that? I think that she needed to leave because she was causing a major problem. Uh huh. And how was she doing that? She would just keep arguing. Dad. Me and my mom and my dad uh -huh. weren't getting anywhere. And okay. It just never would have gotten solved if she wouldn't have left. Okay, we have another tape here. I know you're a freaking liar! Leave! Leave! Get out of our lives. We want you gone. We're tired of the turmoil. Get out of here. Get out. We want you gone. Mom, get out! You're seeing yourself screaming at your mother. Does that seem wrong to you in any way? It or does, does it seem justified because she wouldn't leave? It does in a way, but she would never quit arguing. Do you worry about money? Uh, yeah. Yeah. What do you, um, what do you worry most about? About losing my house. What do you think would happen if, if you all lost your house? Um... We'd lose everything. Mm -hmm. That's pretty scary for a 12-year-old. Yeah. You've seen your your dad yelling and screaming at your mom and being really upset. Does that bother you? Um, it bothers me that my mom gets defensive because my dad starts out talking, and then my mom starts raising her voice and getting defensive and holding up her arms and knocking things out of my dad's hands. And it just gets me really mad. Mm -hmm. At your mom? Yeah. Yeah. What's he so upset with her about besides um, the party? Marital problems what? and what? money. My mom cheated on him and gave him an STD. Uh -huh. And how do you know that? 
Um, my dad had a um, STD because <clears throat> I saw there were files of it. And apparently, from what I've heard, a doctor gave my mom a fake name. And I keep, Walgreens keeps calling the house, telling her to pick up her medicine. I just want to tell you a couple things that I'd like you to think about. All right. Um, first off, your mother and your father both love you very much. I know that. And sometimes adults see things differently. One will think A is true, and the other will think B is true, and... Sometimes they'll clash and, and get upset with each other, and, and that's just what people do in relationships sometimes. They have differences of opinion. And I want you to understand that, that none of that's your fault. I understand that. It's, just, it's really not. I mean, none of that's your fault. And I'm making every effort to try to get that situation calmed down. And... Um, I know you're getting along with your dad right now and not your mom, and I think I'm going to try to talk your dad into handling some things differently, but don't ever doubt that he loves you very, very much, and your mother loves you just as much, and I want you to kind of be the hero in this situation and really try to get back together in that relationship with your mother because... Sometimes people have opinions, but things aren't always the way they seem. And I, I think your mom may be getting a little bit of a bum rap here. And I think your dad may be having a lot of frustration here. But they both mean well, and they both love you very, very much. And you're very blessed to have two parents that care so much about you. Listen, I'm really proud to meet you. Thanks. Uh, Thank you. You're, you're a good-looking kid, and you're plenty smart. So Thanks. hopefully we can calm things down at home for you, okay? All right. All right. Thanks. Talk to you soon. All right. What would make you happy today is if she confessed. You said you want a confession so you can start fresh. I would love a confession out of this girl. This November. Both of you cheated in the marriage. Both of you lied. I can just imagine being one of your children. I would just so want to tell you people to shut the hell up and sit down. America's most watched talk show. My husband's mother is insane. Let Dr. Phil decide how crazy I really am. Come on, Dr. Phil. Is must watch television. You have a new boyfriend. Did you do a criminal background check? Yes, I did. And what did you find? A lot of stuff that I'm not going to go into. Well, we are going to go into it. A boyfriend's past exposed. When I reveal what's in this binder, their concerns are going to rise to a whole new level. Oh, my God. Plus, exclusives you'll only see on Dr. Phil. Did you actually see him shoot himself? Yeah, but... I don't remember anything. Was it suicide? None of us had anything to do with your son's death. Or something else. I don't think that they're telling the truth. I'm just upset that I even have to be here. Well, is that inconvenient for you? Coming this November. Well, I'm back with Cindy and her husband, Mike. I have just come from the green room where I spoke to their uh, delightful son. You watched the conversation, right? Yes, I wanted to hear what he had to say. Um, and you see, the, the problem with kids getting pulled into adult issues is, remember I said I've got two rules? One, you never ask him to deal with adult issues. He says, I'm afraid we're going broke. We're going to lose our house. Yes. We're going to lose everything. We're going to be on the street. I said, and... And, and and there's nothing you can do about it, right? And he said, yeah, I, I, so that scares me. I'm worried about it. So here we have a 12-year-old child that has no ability to affect the outcome, but is worried that his whole world is going to collapse and fall down around him. That is beyond inappropriate burden to put on a child. Correct. I then heard him recite to me everything you believe about his mother. Uh, Today on an all-new Dr. Phil, their marriage is in trouble. I want her to confess right now of who you've been with. I wasn't with anyone, Michael. And dads involving their child. My son knows just about everything. In all their private problems. I know you're a freaking liar! Leave! Leave! I am 
very troubled by hearing this child scream at his mother. Things get so intense. She's manipulating the whole situation. as She's turning this on me. I've tried to be your strength all your life, and you have done nothing but bash me. Dr. Phil stops the show. Robin, would you please come up and get Cindy? For a dramatic one-on-one. -on -one. Let's do it. I hate to see people suffering, and you've hurt long enough. Stand by, Dr. Bill. Four seconds. I'm going to get you the help that you need. Five, four, This is going to be a changing day in your life. Go, Dr. Bill. It was a lot more than sex, lies, and videotapes yesterday when we met one of the most animated and intense husbands I have ever dealt with. There was spying, suspicions, polygraph tests, paternity tests, fake suicide attempts, and a road trip halfway across the United States to lay some evidence at my feet. Let me catch you up on what's happened so far. I know your freaking life! Leave! Leave! Imagine being ganged up on like this by your husband and your 12-year-old son. Her husband, Mike, constantly accuses her of lying and cheating. I'm not stupid. I know what's going on. I told my husband a white lie. Once I found out she lied to me, I knew I couldn't trust her. Have you cheated on him since y'all got married? No. Why did you lie to my family her. all these years? About what? About everything. People lie, particularly white lies, sometimes to escape all of the hell that you're raining down on her. I'm not lying. I never cheated on you. Mike hired a detective to give me a polygraph test. I took the test and I passed it. How many men have you caught her with? Oh, I haven't caught her with any men. None. Oh. Do you spy on her from the woods? From my garage. Well,